Hello and welcome to Jeb Automobile. Today, I will show you how to perform an IMMO off on an ECU. As you can see, before we begin, I want to remind you that we are working with a 2007 Volkswagen Touareg ECU. This is a Bosch Me 7 ECU designed for the 2007 Volkswagen Touareg. Here we have our UPA programmer, which will allow us to extract the data from the EEPROM chip found on this ECU. We've identified the chip at this level. It is an EEPROM chip from Volkswagen. As you can see, it is located on the ECU. This EEPROM chip is a 95080 model, which will enable us to extract the ECU data using specialized software. Without further ado, let's dive into the subject. Before we start, I'll first show you how to set up the connections. As you can see, we have our UPA programmer which will connect to our computer via USB. Here, I am connecting it, and as you can see, it powers up and is activated. What you see here is what we call an EEPROM extractor. This tool allows us to extract EEPROM data without desoldering the chip. Here we have our EEPROM reading adapter. I'm attaching it here, and now it's connected. Next, we'll use this clip to connect it to our EEPROM chip. Here is the EEPROM chip. We'll simply attach this clip to the EEPROM, and we're good to go. Now let's proceed. The setup is ready, and now we'll begin the reading process. We'll start by launching the software. Here we go. The reading is complete. The data has been successfully extracted using our programmer. Now, we save the file. Let's name it Volkswagen 2007 and save it. Once that's done, we exit and open the IMMO off software. Here we have the IMMO service tool. We open it, select Volkswagen, and search for the Bosch Me 7 ECU. Our chip model is the 95080. We select it and locate the extracted file on the desktop. Here it is, the file we're looking for. We click on it, and as you can see, the IMMO off process has been completed. The software will now prompt us to save a new file. We save it. Next, we return to the EEPROM reading software to verify the saved file. We load the IMMO off file to compare it with the original one. Here's the IMMO off file. As you can see, it displays some differences, such as the VV marker that wasn't in the original file. This confirms that the IMMO off process has been successful. Now we'll write the new file to the EEPROM. We select the correct configuration for the ST815P. We start the programming process. If it doesn't work on the first try, we retry until it takes. After a few attempts, the writing process begins. As indicated, it shows programming successful. The new file has replaced the old one and the process is complete. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to do so.